Hello friends, welcome to our website etltestingtutorial.com. We have already covered how to work with the Informatica, how to work with the uh, Oracle database and how to work with SQL language. The topic that I'm going to start is the another tool for ETL that is other than Informatica, which tool we can use ETL tool Informatica we have already covered. The topic that we'll cover today is about SSIS. Okay, so the current session is on the download and installation of SSIS. In the last session, we have already covered how SSIS works and what all are the components to work inside SSIS. So for SSIS, we need SQL Server Management Studio that works with the Developer Edition. Or if you are working with the Express Edition that we have already working with in the third, fourth and fifth module, that's not a big deal. You can work inside that as well. But within developer edition, we have much more uh, space to work inside that. Within express edition, we have less space to work with. Okay, and if I show you how SS, how SQL Server Management Studio looks like. See this, SQL Server 2014 that I'm using for the, uh, to work within SSIS. Or if you are working with 2012 or the most recent one, 2017, that's not a big deal. Okay, you can directly download that from Microsoft website, create your account and then start downloading. Okay, I'll just show you how developer edition will look like. And okay, see in the module number third, fourth and fifth, we were working with the database engine only. But in, in, in my current session, we are going to work with analysis services and the reporting services as well. Right. And now if I click on connect, we'll able to see the uh, the work panel for that and the properties and the desktop, uh, the space where we could write query, where we could uh, create, the, uh, create the database, where we could write the queries to create database or create a database. Right. So what's the next thing that we need for SSIS? If I show you. So the first one is SQL Server that we need and the another one is Visual Studio that, is, that comes with SQL Server Data Tools. Okay, you can, uh, the Visual Studio that I'm going to use will come with SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. Okay, so now let's see how we can start uh, doing the installation of Visual Studio on our, on our machine. Okay. Here I'll directly search for download SQL Server Data Tools Visual Studio for SSIS. Okay. And within that only, the very first link I'll open download SQL Server Data Tools. And this is again a product, uh, uh, it's a product from Microsoft only. So make sure that you have your account. If you don't have, you can create your account. I'll show you how to uh, create and log in into your S this Microsoft account. So this is the page that you'll get for the very first time. Then I'll go for sign in. And within sign in, if you don't have, you can create a new account. It's totally free of cost. You just need your mail ID. And then password I'll write as I already have. That's why I'm able to log in inside this. And yes. So within this, if this is the, the one that we will use for Visual Studio. And if you scroll down here, download SSDT for Visual Studio 2017. This is the most recent one that's coming in. I'll pause as I already have on my machine. You can download that. I'll show you. You can just download it from this 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 setup. Wait a second. I'll show you where I have this. Here, SSIS. This one. SSDT setup. This is the very first file that you'll get. Okay. Now I'll double click and run this exe file. And this is the page that you'll get uh, every time whenever you install this. So it's saying you want to. Uh, you want to create, you want to know more about this SQL Server data tools 
or a feedback as a stick on modify and it's complete as because i already have that that's why i was getting that option to uninstall that okay for the very first time you'll not get that uninstall you'll just get the um, you want to install okay so it will take a lot of time it depends directly on the speed of the internet that you are using your so firstly it will download and then it will start doing the installation of this okay uh, we'll wait for some time i think it's being started i'll show you in between how how it will look like see it's downloading is almost completed and now the installation part is being um it's in progress and it will take some more time we'll wait as it will take some more time so for that i'll show you this is the website from where we have installed and see we'll get the analysis services we'll get the reporting services and the integration services within a sql server okay so these all services we'll have it and i think the one that i'm using is 2015 version but you can also go for 2017 version for visual studio as well okay let's see and this is 2015 that i'm working on and it's still in progress it will take some more time hmm. so after completing the installation that's how it will look like okay and i'll go i'll click on close okay so we have all uh, we have already done and then we'll search for sql server data tools and then we'll open this okay this is a 2015 version that i'm using with this is the desktop app for sql server data tools and once you open this you will get the screen for i'll show you how it will look like wait a second we have the complete architecture of it like this okay, this is a complete picture how it will come back and um, these all are the panels that we have and to work inside this to to get some uh, more details you can refer to our rest of the videos and that videos are on the on all of these on all of these description i have worked with for different different sources and the destination and some of the advanced topics we have we have covered all of these things in our uh, rest of the modules